Finally got it right. All right. Hello everyone and welcome to Rudd's Home Farm. My name is Joshua Rudd and today I'm going to be building a grow tent for my tomatoes. Uh, I'm not sure you can see over here, but my tomatoes are fairly big and they're, they're struggling. So the bottom halves are the, of the plant is dying and shriveling up because the light can't get to the bottom of it. And so I decided to grow, grow, buy a grow tent and we'll go ahead and build it and talk about it while we do it. So I'm just gonna, it's my first live video, so you know, bear with me and kind of, you know, this is all new to me as it is to you. So let's go ahead and here is my uh, Bibble Sun grow tent. Uh, I'll have the, the link in the description when the live stream is over, but uh, my first time live streaming. So. It's all right if no one shows up this time. It's all just getting some practice. All right, so what do we got here? junk or not, we shall see. All right, what is this? All right, cool. So, there should be instructions here somewhere. Instructions, my favorite part. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, so we got that. Oh, look at that. Step one is like all the things. <laughs> so we're just making a box. Hey, uh, so it's a rectangle. for these suckers. Thank you. 
B. These are B. So better B, B. Uh, so it looks like B and C are the same size. So C are the ones without. Somebody actually joined. I think what's up? Hey, hey, hey. Just uh. uh, here building a grow tent, hoping to save my tomatoes. How's it going, man? Welcome. It's my first time streaming. Thought I'd give it a shot. See how bad I could screw it up. Uh. So do you do hydroponics? about yourself. Tell me about your hydroponic story. You do DWC? I like to do a mixture of like crack key with DWC so you don't have to have that floating raft. I'm not sure what kind of, uh, what I like about hydroponics is nothing is like concrete. So like a DWC might be DWC with other people. Like, you, like original DWC, you need like a floating raft on the water to make sure the all the roots have complete contact with the water. That's not really my favorite method because you got to worry about this floating raft that it's stuck on stuff. It's like I prefer to have like a container that just kind of drains but have a bubbler at the bottom to kind of mix the two. It's like crack key DWC at the same time. That's how my tomatoes are over here. It's like they got bubblers in there but they don't sink with the, you know what I mean. chat only appears for a second. So you said, what do you grow? There we go. You're going to organic soil, huh? I would go to soil, but I just can't stand the bugs. Hate the bugs. One time I went, I had all DWC. 
right, that does look a bit too short. Maybe. I think it might be sideways. It's supposed to be five feet tall. So I'm six feet tall. said you uh I don't know why I keep putting the chat away DWC tomatoes yeah to me, honestly tomatoes are an upgrade from what I did before I usually do I lettuce and leafy greens those are super easy but like getting a plant the flower inside and then have that all work out is actually very tough not the easiest part so you just gotta keep trying though thing about when you try stuff is you always get the opportunity to try again. So just keep trying, man. Like, you don't know how many times that I've killed plants. I've killed so many plants with hydrogen peroxide. I'll just, I spritz like the leaves with like food grade hydrogen peroxide because I saw a bug or two and I just absolutely hate bugs and I just murdered all the plants that I grew. They were just all dead the next day. I was like, well, at least the bugs are gone, you know, right? Everything's dead. Okay, so we have pieces. We have pieces. What is this long thing for? All right, welcome, welcome. Putting together my grow tent. First live video. Feel free to chat and talk. What did you say? Yeah, you're right. I think so. Missing so many, and then this is supposed to go like here. You're right, yeah. But I mean, look, there's like I'm not sure if the glare. But there's like four steps. It goes. This is your first step, and then you're like, all right, figure that out. So it's like it's not really telling me everything. So where does this one go? adjustments later all right so step two we put the big piece on the biggest piece
So I successfully unzipped it. So that's step one. <laughs> See how, how terrible I'm doing this. Yeah, this is the fun part. It's like it's like one giant piece. Why would you tell me to put it? It's one giant piece. So we got these two little holes here at the top. That's supposed to be the corner. So here's a hole. Yeah. Yeah? No. Oh. Here's two holes. So one of them goes on. Oh, you did? You put yours? Maybe I should do that. I'm supposed to already have it kind of lit. This is home improvement projects 101, right? Everything's supposed to be easy. <laughs> it never is. Hey, so if you join, you can tell me about what kind of hydroponics do you prefer, what type of hydroponics you guys use. While I get this zipper unstuck. Man, this zipper. Oh, you better not. <laughs> Look at this zipper. I ain't had this for five minutes. Wow. 
guess that's a knock for Vivosan right there. So maybe there's another zipper on the other side that I can bring around. No? Not that far from the beginning, so we'll just take it. Back. Why do they even put this little stupid little flap here? Okay, I think we're good. the side pieces on the top and the top pieces on the side. guys think? That don't seem right. There's not enough pieces. Yeah, so I think I got it right. Oh, 
Okay, okay, now I'm remembering. So there aren't four pieces of each. So we need the short ones for the height right here. Where's the long ones? It's the long ones. It's the long ones. So confusing, the instructions really suck. over here. a lot better. All right, there we go. This is looking a lot better. Muy bueno. There we go. go. Dude, there we are. That's starting to look like a grow tent. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. 
So maybe we could uh, flip it over now. Good suggestion. These are for. All right. So now we got miscellaneous stuff. Fix the camera a little bit, move it back some. There, it's better. I can see the whole thing a little bit better. guys straight there all right so now we got miscellaneous stuff I think this is supposed to be some sort of it's not even on here like why would you not explain to me what these other pieces are for All right, well, I guess I could see where they fit as I work, as I move along. All right, so, this sucker. I also got garage lights. These garage lights here, they're, they're really, really bright. Yeah. But they don't have any red, which I'm told is what helps flowering. See how bright that is. That's 100 watts right there. So maybe temporarily while we figure stuff out, we could hang this. These are, these are used lampshade. Like you get a lampshade that stands up and then you just, it's supposed to stand like six feet tall or something. 
and you just take it apart and then then you got something to dangle your lights from as long as it doesn't weigh too much heavy on the cord it's not that big of a deal The fun part is where, how many of you like tomatoes in here? Here, let's, let's take a walk, let's take a walk over to my tomatoes and I'll show you what I got. Yeah, you got, flip the camera around. So these are my tomatoes right now. And my issue is, you know, down here, we already got wilting plants. And pretty much the reach of grow lights is only a couple of inches before it like dissipates to nothing. I have good flowers. You can see good flowers. And I've read that the fan is supposed to pollinate them. Oh, and this, this one fell over. You got tomato steaks here. I guess we'll fix that later too, but I'm hoping is, is that I can use the grow lights to kind of <clears throat> help more light to get in. Help more light to to get in there. All right, let's let's flip you back around so I can see what's going on. All right. So what kind of grow lights do you guys use? Do you use purple or do you like using white? I'm not sure if I can there you go. Tap the live chat. Thanks, by the way. Gotta kind of play around with some things, but uh, I built the grow tent, <laughs> and so hopefully I can get some uh, some think of some things overnight and kind of I have some shelves I can try to practice and put in there. But uh, thanks for watching and thanks for joining. And uh, I'll if you guys like this, make sure you give it a comment and stuff. See if you like it. I'm not sure. I, it's first time doing live videos, so you know. Thank you. Have a good day. Talk to you next time. I'll be having a lot more videos coming out too, so. Enjoy. And oh, oh, one more thing. Uh, if you want to have buy this one, I'll have it on my website. And uh, you can just find that link in the uh, description below of this or uh, in any of my videos has the uh, link to my website. It's uh, rudshomefarming.com. Have a good one. Bye. And I think I stop. How do I stop? Yeah. Have a good day.